The next instrument that I'm holding in my hand, this is referred to as D. Becker's iris scissors. This is used for cutting the iris or iridectomy during surgical procedures, ophthalmic procedures, and it is also used for delicate intraocular procedures. Let's mention a few salient features about this instrument. Let's start with the end, which is between my fingers. First of all, we notice that the, these two limbs, they are highly springy. Therefore, this is also referred to as a spring open scissors. The next point that we notice are the tails of the two springs. One is inserted inside a slot of the other tail. This is to prevent the two tails from coming out. The third thing we notice is the gripping surface. Because this is a very delicate instrument, it has to be held very gently in the fingers to prevent it from slipping. The surface is ridged and corrugated. And the fourth point we notice is this governor here or the small projection, which determines how much is the maximum pressure that we can apply between the two limbs of the spring. Now let's come to the most important part, the cutting end of the scissor. The first thing we immediately notice is that, that the cutting end is angled. Therefore, this is an angled scissor. But before that, the, where does this angulation take place? This angulation takes place at one swivel joint here. So unlike a previous instrument which I demonstrated, this is not a box type of joint, but it is a swivel joint. If we were to take a close look at the cutting end, we find that the cutting end is straight and angled. The two surfaces of the scissor, which are opposed to each other, they are flat, smooth and sharp. They are the one which is responsible for cutting the iris or any other delicate intraocular structure. And if we were to turn it, we find that the non-opposed surface, the non-cutting surface of each limb is blunt and rounded. So therefore, the cutting surface is smooth. The non-cutting surface is blunt and rounded. This is a D. Becker's idectomy scissor. Before I conclude, I need to tell you how does this differ from two other very similar instrument. One of them is known as the corneal spring scissor. The corneal spring scissor also looks very similar. It has also got similar features. Only thing is the cutting end is slightly scooped like this. It is used to cut the limbus during intraocular surgery. And the other is the vanna scissor. The vanna scissor has also got similar features. It can either be flat and angled or it can be scooped. Vanna scissor is even more small and more delicate. It is used for trabeculectomy, though it can also be used for idectomy and other delicate intraocular procedures. This instrument which I'm holding in my hand is D. Becker's idectomy scissors. Stay tuned for the next ophthalmic surgery instrument.